How did you ultimately get into comedy? Uh, like, when was your big start? Uh, it was uh, Damon Williams out of Chicago and Bernie Mac. Um, okay. Bernie Mac, when when um, when I first started comedy, Damon Williams was a host of uh, All Jokes Aside, and he uh, he said, "Hey man, I, I went up on stage. Nobody knew who I was. I did five minutes about roaches, <laughs> killed. <laughs> killed, and I came off the stage. And he said, "Hey man, can you come back next week and do that again?" And I said, "Yeah." So I wrote another five minutes about ass whoopings and came <laughs> back the next week and killed with it. So he said, dude, I thought you were going to do the same set you did the week before. And I was like, oh, I thought you told me just come right. He said, you wrote a whole nother five minutes for the next week. And I was like, yeah. He goes, <laughs> so he brought me back the third week. And after I got off the stage, I come off the stage and Bernie Mac was standing there. Mm -hmm. And I said, holy shit. And he said, come here, motherfucker. <laughs> and I said, oh, shit. He said, my name is Bernie Mac. And I said, I know who the fuck you is. He said, you hunted than a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I got a room on Tuesday nights, Alex. I want you to come do comedy in my room on Tuesday nights. You're going to be funny in the motherfucking that room. So I started hanging out with Bernie Mac and uh, Damon Williams and Dion Cole. And uh, doing, I started doing black comedy clubs. And the lucky thing for me was because I was Latino, mm -hmm. people would ask for Latino <clears throat> comic. And the only one they knew was me. They didn't know anybody else because I was working the black circuit. Right. So I started, I started moving around. And the next thing I did, I did a Showtime at the Apollo. And when I won Showtime at the Apollo's Comedy Championship, everything just... Just they escalated from there. Yeah, it just popped. Went to the next level. And then there was Comedy Central. And then you got HBO. And it's like, it's like being a promoted at work. You know, you get your first job. And then you're, you're a bagger. And then you're a checker, and then you become assistant manager. So you're working your way yeah. up. And, and the TV show is just kind of a way of doing that. Damn, that's awesome. Good for you. So uh, I didn't even know. About, I mean, uh, I mean, I, I wouldn't have expected to know about the whole Bernie Mac situation. But, uh, I mean, he passed away, what, 2008, 2009, something like that. Yeah, so um, I didn't even know about that. That's, like, insane because, you know, Bernie Mac is pretty good himself. Oh, so. he was amazing. I've seen him sit in a room. He had a little room called Trainers. He mm -hmm. would sit on a stool, <coughs> excuse me, on a stool in front of a jazz band. And the mm -hmm. jazz band would play. And then at one point, Bernie would just, and they would stop playing and Bernie would start talking. And it would be the funniest shit you ever heard in your life. And it would just be him flowing, man. He was a, he was a genius. Damn. Yeah, he, Not, he, was, God, he was down to earth, one of the nicest people I ever met in my life. Damn, that's awesome. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's probably a huge honor to even have met the guy. I mean, the guy is, like you said, he's a genius. He was, everything I ever seen him in was, he was funny. So yeah. that's, that's pretty cool that you got to meet him. The third. So I got 13 names. Don't you really think I talk like this? Fight me. What's up, guys? My name is Alex Ortiz. Uh, I get. Uh, I love being a comic. It's one of my favorite jobs. I had school jobs over the years. I'd be a firefighter. Before that, I was a nurse. Before that, I was a soldier in the United States Army. It's my favorite job. Not just because there's no drug testing. We didn't have to be here till like 8.30 tonight.